This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. Several Michigan business leaders are expected to call on Governor Gretchen Whitmer and lawmakers to deliver on her campaign promise of fixing the state's roads. They have a press conference on Tuesday morning at the Michigan Chamber of Commerce. The Chamber of Commerce is located at 600 South Walnut Street in Lansing, and the group says that they'll release maps showing deteriorating roads in all of Michigan's legislative districts. Captain Daryl Green has been in charge of the Lansing Police Department on a temporary basis for just under three weeks. He's expected to find out on Tuesday if he'll become the next permanent police chief. Green has been working to regain the community's trust in the Lansing Police Department following public outcry over a controversial arrest of a young runaway. Lansing Police Board of Commissioners are expected to review Mayor Shore's recommendation before taking action on whether to approve Green as the chief. The review will happen Tuesday at the Lansing Police Headquarters starting at 5.30 p.m. After almost 151 years after it was created, a Michigan Fire Department has hired its first female firefighter. Raylynn DeGroff says she was destined to join what she calls the family business with the Pawpaw Fire Department. Her grandfather, father, and uncle all served on the force. DeGroff said that she used to take rides on the truck with her dad and thinks everyone should pursue their dream. I get treated just like the rest of the guys. I have to work hard and prove myself. If you can dream it, you can do it. And it's been my dream since I was eight, and I'm here, DeGroff said. The firefighter hopes that she won't be the last member of her family to be a Pawpaw firefighter. The department also recently hired its first fourth-generation firefighter in its history. He's been helping people in Gratiot County for years, whether it was at the scene of a car accident, a fire, or on the other end of a phone call. But now a man who has dedicated his life to public service is in need of help, too. Richard Hallman has done it all. He's been a firefighter, an EMT, and a 911 dispatcher. He saved countless lives, but now he's fighting for his. One of my supervisors said I was starting to look pale, ghostly. Eventually, I was able to chase it down. It took a while, but I got the diagnosis for rectal cancer, Hallman said. Richard Hallman's 34. He's a father. He's active. He even survived an ambulance crash a few years ago. It isn't the type of person he, you would think would get sick. But here he was with stage 4 colorectal cancer. Hallman says that doctors are seeing some improvement in his scans. Right now, he's taking it day by day. The Hallmans are having a spaghetti dinner and silent auction to raise money for medical bills that's going to be held on October 12th at 3 p.m. at Grace Lutheran Church in Lansing. Learn more about all of these and all MidMichigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.